Yeah, we back with another one. Before we get back to another one, have y'all heard the Smokey Robinson gang banging? That's my shit. I'm still playing that shit every day. I can't stop. Gang banging, gang banging. I was playing that shit crazy when it went viral. Disappeared. And then for like two days ago, you know when some shit come to your head and you can't stop singing it? Bro, this shit has been just terrorizing me. I've been seeing Smokey Robinson in that scene where he got the jean, the jean like shirt on and he just gang banging, gang banging. Selling that dope, doing that cool, gang banging, gang bang. Another unboxing, another unboxing, another unboxing. Let's go. What's today's? What's today's? What's today's? I'm gonna give y'all a good hint. If you don't know this, a lot of y'all not gonna know this, so let me not get too mad. But it's Sleepy Hollow season. And I ain't talking about the movie. Think about merch. I'm even going to tell you it's not streetwear. It's merch. Merch. Sleepy Hollow. Must I say any more? Let me just... Just read the description. Read the description if you didn't read it before you click this fucking video. Just read the description. Just read the description. Flippy <laughs> Red! Pegasus. Pegasus. Pegasus, Pegasus merch. Yo, you know what's crazy? The album came out Pegasus. Uh, I forgot exactly when it came out. Yo, I've been having this shit, bruh. Shit date. Oh nah, it's not as old as I thought, but still, I bought this the day before Halloween, October thirtieth. It got to my crib. Oh, I'm over here showing y'all this. It got to my house the day before. Um, it got to my house the 23rd of November. I'm telling you, we've been behind on this channel. Yo, I love Trippy Red's album so much. Pull it up in the bottom. Let's give him a little drop. It was a great album. Chris Brown and his track killed it. I'm not going to lie. It, I didn't listen to it as long as I wish I did. It was a really good album. The album cover was wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, wow. Like, bro. That's just shit. I, I feel like that's what fucked up the album. No bullshit. That's why niggas didn't even play it like that. Because the album cover, like, nah, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. But the album wasn't bad. I, I fucked with this album heavy, bro. Like, wee! That was my shit. Let it out. The intro is my shit. Excitement. That was my shit with Party Next Door. We did, we did actually a reaction to that, if you didn't catch that. Watch that on this channel. Love Scars 4, Fire. Spaceships, Fire. Never Change, Fire. What was it? Oomph's Revenge. That was my shit. Sleepy Hollow, Track 21. And it got a star in it, so you should know. Kid That Did. That's my shit with Future. TR666. That was my shit, even though that track came out in, like, fucking 2017. And it finally got added to something. What was the name of the track? The shit with Busta Rhymes. That was my shit. When they redid the Myra Carey. Baby, if I give it to you, give it to me. I love you, woman. I got you. Maybe if I give it to you, give it to me. However you want it. So, in honor of me liking the album so much, and liking the track Never Change, we got the Never Change T. If you don't remember, then I'll fast forward it for a little bit so you can see. Never change. Let's get to the T. So this is the Never Change T in black. I don't believe there was another color option. Maybe white, but I'm. I think there it was only black. This shit is tough. This shit is tough. That's the back of the t-shirt there. Trippy Red, Sleepy Hollow, Pegasus 1400 with the black Pegasus, red eyes in the back, Sleepy Hollow. Holding his head, obviously. And it looks like he's hold Trippy Red's holding his own head by a chain, like his necklace. That's dope. 
What I like about the back, I don't know if you guys noticed, even the front actually. Trippy Red got all his face tattoos. <laughs> he got the love scars, he got all his face tattoos, the 1400 in between his eyes. The grill is fire. Y'all see the grill on it? With the 1400, 1400 going across the grill, that shit is super dope. The blonde dreads, everything came out fire, bro. Hypnotizing eyes is my favorite part. And then on the bottom, we have the double font. Pegasus 2020, red over a white, over a white text. I don't even know it's my phone. I got OCD when I watch videos back and I see my phone there, that shit's gonna irritate. Same with the top font. Well, the, that's, the, that's the font for the entire thing. I'm not gonna show you everything, but he did that, like that double font with the red O on top of the white. That's dope with the 1400 and everything, yeah, even on the front. This tea was actually a good price. What did I pay for it? So I paid $24.99 on the website and shipping was $9.99, so $34 in total. I, nah, smooth, definitely. And I, and I fucked with the album, heavy. Fuck with Trippy Red, heavy. So you know, I like supporting. When I fuck with you and I like your music and I like everything and it was a good drop, good album, I gotta support, I gotta support. And the track Never Change Itself with Future is gas. As y'all can see, he put a black Pegasus over here. The album got a white Pegasus, so I kind of would have preferred that, but it's cool. I'll take the black Pegasus. 1400 tag, as you can see, size large. I would say true to size. It feels like it just feels like a, I'm not going to lie, this tee feels better than I expected for the price I paid. It feels like a 100% kind tee, I'm not going to lie to you. It feels like a 100% kind. I like that. For the price I paid, I was expecting like a real cheap tee feel, but it feels good. Can't be mad. Graphic has like that retro look on it, which I like a lot. Neck organs coming out, whatever that is, little pink details on the bottom. It's cool, man. It reminds me of like them old school 90s tees and shit, like old band merch and shit. I like it. Definitely throwing this on. This is gonna be for the put on. I'm wearing this ASAP. Pegasus 1400. His little old school body with his little bow tie and everything. <laughs> this tee was fire. When I saw this on the website, I was like, nah, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Alright, how'd you guys feel about the tea? I'm pretty sure you can probably still get it on his website. Trippy's merch does not sell quick at all. It's always really cheap too, which is dope. His merch is always cheap. Well, his merch is cheap on his website. If you go to one of his actual shows, as y'all know, candy's expensive. A shirt like this would have cost you like $50 at one of his shows. Hoodies, $80 to $90. On his website, hoodies be like $40 to $50. And tees be like 20 to 40. Right here, 25 dollars shipping came out to $35. I mean, $34.99. I like this tee, it's dope. I love the retro look to it. It looks like it's already been washed a hundred times, the way that the, it, was, it was printed. Is it screen printed? It is screen printed. Comment below, did you guys grab any trippy merch? If you didn't, how did you feel about Pegasus? Was you a fan of the album? Was you not a fan of the album? Did you cop any merch if you did? If you like, yo, you know what? I fuck with the Pegasus shit, I had to support him. Did you cop merch? That's what I need to know. And if you didn't, well, how do you feel about the one that I cop? Do you like it? Yes or nay? Are you a Trippy Red fan? If so, if you're a Trippy fan and you like the tea, make sure to check out the concert I went to the Trippy Red, that video was dope. That was shot in downtown Providence at Lupo's. That was the old name of it, I don't know. It's like the Heartbreak something. I don't even know what's the name of it. But it was shot in downtown Providence. It was a, it was a dope show. Trippy came to do, um, yeah, it was definitely a dope ass show. You gotta go check that video out. I'm gonna show you guys the details, zoom up, show you the close-ups of the T. And then after that, you can check out the other channels. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Like we always say at the end of all our videos. Until the next one. We out! What is this?